I got broads in Atlanta, she's a Dolly in the family Credit cards in the scammers, hitting the licks in the van Legacies, family, wait and see, they like a panda Go on, I like a it seems to me like everyone is interested in the Kardashian-Jenner clan and their lifestyles, even if we don't want to admit it. The family is made up of mega stars and they're living the dream, so it makes sense that we're all curious. You guys also seem to like the Kardashian-Jenner videos, so on that note we're going to be looking at one of the other sisters' homes, Kendall. Kendall Jenner, like Kylie, is one of the youngest in the family and she's only 23 at the time of this video. She's a reality TV star, influencer, and supermodel who has 115 million followers on Instagram at the time of this recording. Forbes also crowned her the world's highest paid model back in 2017. Not too surprising. She might be young, but like the rest of the family, Kendall is doing well. Her net worth is assumed to be over 18 million, so she's definitely set. Although she isn't in the public eye as much as some of her sisters, it's what makes her a bit different, and I kinda like that about Kendall. The Kardashian-Jenner clan has purchased up a ton of real estate in an area of Calabasas called Hidden Hills. It's been basically deemed a real estate compound for the family since Kim and Kanye have their gargantuan mansion here, Kylie has her mansion there as well as a few more homes, and Mama Bear Chris has her house there too. Chloe and Courtney also have their homes beside them, and Rob was living in one of Kylie's properties there, but I'm not sure if he still is. Point being is that Kendall seems to be the only family member who doesn't live or have a home in the Hidden Hills. Maybe she likes to distance herself a little bit from some of the drama, or there were just no houses left there that she liked. Hey guys, it's Kara and we've been trying something a little different here on this channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at Kendall Jenner's $8.5 million mansion in Beverly Hills and see what her place is like. We'll also look at where she used to live before she bought this spot and see how she upgraded. Her place isn't as weird as her sister Kim's, that's for sure, but her house does have something to do with Charlie Sheen, which you'll find out a little bit after. If you like this idea, I'll make more house tour vids. We also did one on Kylie Jenner's beautiful main mansion in the Hidden Hills area, as well as Kim and Kanye's empty looking $22 million fortress and we'll have links to those at the end of this video. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm gonna be responding to some at the end of this video. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. I'm thinking at this point we're gonna have to do Khloe Kardashian's house next. Let's start with a recap of where Kendall used to live before we look at her current mansion, because she did move quite a bit. Back in 2016, Kendall did an interview with Vogue and it took place in her family home. So, here we are in the home you grew up in. Yeah. How often do you hang out here? Um, not too often anymore. What's your favorite memory in this home? Sneaking out late. What's your favorite holiday to celebrate in this home? Christmas. At the time, Kendall already lived on her own, but she's never really given a home tour aside from her closet, which we'll see after. Off topic, but I've always wanted floors like in this video. Kris Jenner clearly has good taste. So Kendall actually moved out when she was only 19 and started her solo living in an LA condo. She bought it for 1.3 million in the Wilshire building that's located in the Westwood area of LA. Apparently a trendy spot. It was 2,068 square feet with high ceilings, a bunch of windows, two beds, and 2.5 bathrooms. Yes, it was expensive and gorgeous, but when we know what this family is capable of, that is super small, even for a teen. Kendall's condo had a great kitchen, living room, office, and more, as well as a clean and modern design. I know any Jenner sister can do better than that, though. Kendall's main complaint was the lack of closet space. She said, It's hard at my condo because I don't have enough closet space. I also have a rack of clothes. It's so messy, I hate it. I feel that girl, really. But I can't upgrade mine like she did. I think my main complaint would actually be the monthly monthly owner fees here for the condo, which were over 3,500 US dollars a month at the time. Yikes. Either way, Kendall moved on from this condo after about two years and made a nice upgrade. She purchased what was previously John Krasinski and Emily Blunt's house for $6.5 million, located close to the Sunset Strip in Hollywood. This home was just slightly bigger, with 4,800 square feet, three stories, six bedrooms, and five bathrooms. Kendall's second home also had a rooftop pool, a massive walk-in closet to satisfy her needs, a three-car garage, and gorgeous floor-to-ceiling windows all over the house. The glass wall on the first floor in the living room opened up to a pool and outdoor patio that made it perfect for entertaining guests. Unfortunately, despite the fact that Kendall's home was highly secure and in a gated community, she managed to get broken into only about a month into living at her new spot. Apparently, $200,000 worth of jewelry was stolen too. 
When TMZ reported on the incident, Kendall fought back saying that them releasing her address is the reason for all of this happening. She has a point. This isn't the only time this has happened to Kendall. She said that even in her old condo she got robbed before, stating, I got robbed. I had stalkers that literally broke in while I was home. It happened one too many times and I just felt trapped. So it was on to her current home. Now let's finally look at where Kendall's living now. This mansion is located in Mulholland Estates where she's neighbors with stars like DJ Khaled and Christina Aguilera. It's also supposed to be more secure here than her last place. So if you're wondering what this place has to do with Charlie Sheen, he was actually the previous owner. But Kendall obviously had to make the home her own and spent about a year doing renovations. Houses in this area usually go for the high multi-million dollar price range, so it seems like it was in Kendall's ballpark. She spent 8.55 million on this spot. Considering Kendall's privacy issues in the past, she is far less open about her home than her sisters are. Her address is not accessible and even pictures of the interior of her home are hard to come by. Kendall's home is 6,625 square feet and has 5 beds, 8 baths and all the fixing on the properties as well, including the large backyard, pool, tennis court, fire pit and a playground. I'm not sure exactly what the star has changed since she moved in, but I'm assuming she kept the pool. At the front of the estate, there's also a gorgeous fountain and big wooden doors. From some of the listing photos, you can tell that it's a Spanish style mansion and the interior before was pretty homey. Seems there was a lot of wooden accents and Buddha decor. I think that since Kendall did her renovations, she made the home sleeker and more elegant to match her style. From the few times that Kendall or her family members did post her house, we can see the fresh design, like when Courtney took to IG showing it off. I'm not sure what's going on there, but we can see a bit of Kendall's living room. She actually kept the same fireplace as before, but changed the floors here. Compared to before, you might think that now it's a different house, but you can also see the same arches present in Kendall's pics. It just looks less cluttered and dated than it did on the listing photos. Some other features inside the home include a large dining room, an office, a gorgeous marble kitchen, multiple living areas, and even a movie theater. Since Kendall occupied the place, the dining room now has a large wooden table, wicker seat, seats, a gold accent lamp, and vintage photos on the wall. The interior colors are also much more neutral. I heard that Charlie Sheen also had his home movie theater decked out in a cheesy and outdated design with a lot of red interior. I'm just gonna assume Kendall switched that up too. It's pretty lame that Kendall hasn't shown off her house more, but given her situation it makes sense. She has done a closet tour in the past, but I'm not sure if that was at her current home. I think it was before she moved in. These are from recent years. They're so good. This one's actually one of my favorites. Just, oh my god, this is like a workout. These jeans I stole. Don't tell anyone. From a photo shoot. They're Marc Jacobs, and I was obsessed with the star on the butt, and I shot in them. From a Vogue. I have no doubt her closet in the current home is even better if that's the case. Oh, and she showed us a photo of her pantry. Really exciting, Kendall. Actually, it's so organized, so I personally do find that really, really exciting. To be honest, I kind of liked a lot of the previous interior, even though there was a lot of drapery and excessive decorations in some areas. The wooden beams throughout the high ceilings looked really nice, so I wonder if she kept those accents. And if you were wondering where Kendall lived while this reno was going down since it took about a year, I know that one place she shacked up was this house in the Beverly Hills Grove area of LA that was 25 k a month. For 25 k it better be something special. Firstly, Kendall was said to be renting this place out with Ben Simmons, who was her boyfriend at the time, but now they've been on a break. You slept with someone else? <laughs> we were on a break, okay? Anyways, maybe they were sharing rent. This house was 4,052 square feet, two stories, and super modern. It was a pretty open concept on the main floor and hosted five bedrooms and six bathrooms. The master suite has a terrace too, and it overlooks the pool and spa. Although Kendall is probably living her best single life now in her official mansion, I'm sure the two enjoyed their summer in this 25,000 rental, that's for sure. So these days, Kendall is all set up in her Mulholland Estates mansion, and from the digging I did, I would say she's safe from any future stalkers or robbers, considering her address isn't out there 
there for the public, unlike some of her sisters. I'm definitely disappointed that the star hasn't shared much of her beautiful home, but you can get a pretty good idea about Kendall's tastes. I'm sure that part of the reason she didn't get a house in the Hidden Hills like the rest of the Kardashian-Jenner clan is to keep some independence and privacy, which seems like it's working. Kendall doesn't need to show off or flaunt her house for us to know that it's epic. The lot on her current house was already so nice when she purchased. There was so much greenery, creating a gorgeous landscape and peaceful vibe that's probably hard to come by in the heart of LA. And yeah, Kendall definitely changed the place a lot since Charlie Sheen lived there. So until Kendall opens up for a house tour, we'll just have to respect her privacy. You would have better luck heading to the Hidden Hills and stalking the rest of the family if that's what you're into. Okay guys, so I'm going to read out some of your comments from our other vids. First of all, I feel like a lot of you guys loved our Kylie Jenner house tour, so I'm glad, but I also see you haters out there. Some of you are really mean. But that's okay, on to the positive. On our Kim K house tour vid, Katherine Hall said, Thank you for doing Kim K. I know people are fed up with the fan, but I can't get enough. Glad you liked it, Catherine. I agree. They're always fun to talk about and see what crazy things the fam is up to, so you're not alone. On the same video, Ajita Rout also commented, Whoa, love this series. Thank you, Ajita. Appreciate the support and stay tuned. Let us know whose houses you would want to see. And Gwen Lusain commented asking why we're giving up Kim and Kanye's address. It's all over the internet already and the house is so guarded and has such a massive property, it would be impossible to get close to it anyways. So I'm sure Kim isn't too concerned. We also got some requests for Rihanna's house, Khloe Kardashian's house, and a few more, so I'm gonna be working on those too. All right guys, that's all I could find about Kendall's Mulholland Estate Mansion. I think the most interesting thing I learned is that she's like the only one of the family who isn't living in the Hidden Hills. All this time I thought she lived there too with the rest of them. I was wrong. Even though we don't know as much about Kendall's house as her sisters, I look forward to seeing what you guys think of it or if there's anything I missed. Which one of Kendall's homes did you like the best? Whose house do you like the best so far? It's Kendall's, Kylie's, or Kim's? I feel like if I could see more of Kendall's, I would like hers best since I love the Spanish style and the property. Let me know in the comments. Also, let me know some other celebrity houses you'd like to see. I'll see you next week with some new videos. Bye!